Welcome to the Referrals Podcast, the show designed to help everyone from the solopreneur to the Fortune 500 company win the referral game. If you want to build a company with an army of ambassadors and raving fans who speak highly of you and refer you willingly, you are in the right place. And now, here is your host, Michael J. Mayer. Welcome, 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 everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Do we have the most special episode in the history of the Weekly Wow today? I cannot wait to hear the wows that come out of your face today. Today is the Weekly Wow from CRTs. That's right, certified referral trainers have been training the last couple of days and now they're gonna share their wisdom their words of wisdom with you at what we are creatively titling the CRT summit. This is a free summit. Literally have had requests for this presentation. Can you believe that? Like literally people were saying, when does Tommy speak? When does Tommy speak? And I'm like, Tommy who? You mean Tommy with an H? That's right. Tommy with an H is our next guest on the weekly wow. And uh, he is a favorite within the group. And I'm telling you something, you are going to learn something new from Tommy Sandvik here in the next few minutes. So I am excited about this, Tommy. Are you excited about this? I am definitely very excited. (laughs) Awesome. Well, let me introduce you properly. Tommy Sandvik is one of our top trainers, top coaches, and uh, our CRT. He, this is the second time that he has been through certified referral trainer. And trust me, it's not because he's a slow learner. Uh, he is an entrepreneur for 10 years going. Uh, he has done everything from network marketing to e-commerce. He is now a full-time CRT, certified high performance coach with Referco. And he is out of Orlando, Florida. He has a husband, Marco, and two cats, Squeaky and whiskers two appropriately named cats obviously he won listen ladies and gentlemen the generosity generation gives out one award each year called the big heart award tommy sandvik is the big heart award winner from 2020 he is also the president of his bni referral partners and a recipient of the chapters givers gain award i'm telling you something this is a guy to listen to He has a passion for Disney, but he is no Mickey Mouse operation. This guy is going to bring it today. And Tommy Sandvik, welcome once again to the Weekly Wow. I know, right? Third time's a charm. (laughs) Just keep coming back. I can't scare you off, I guess. So (laughs) thank you so much. As always, you know, I appreciate you and all of Jen Jen and the opportunity. And I am so incredibly excited to share uh, this with you guys. So Look, I want you to imagine a life where your business development plan is bringing together and connecting great people, having fun, delivering a fantastic experience, raising money for charity, and generate referrals all at the same time. So today, I'm going to teach you how to go from chasing leads to attracting great relationships that generate referrals. And here's why that matters. In my own journey, when I was constantly looking for the next sales opportunity and it didn't come because people felt like they were being chased, hello, cold callers, right? I ended up feeling like I needed to work harder. I started to sacrifice my health because I felt I needed to work harder. And then as the financial stress piled on, the quality of my relationships, and because I was working harder, my personal relationships suffered. I'm wondering, I want you to put in the chat, can you relate to some of that, any part of that process if you've gone through that in your business development journey? I don't know about you, but that is not the way that I wanna run my business or my life, and I'm willing to bet that you don't either. So thankfully, I have the solution, and I'm here to tell you that you can do it. You are fully capable of building a business that attracts referrals and building this amazing life where you can have fun and make money making money. See, the solution is to build your personal referral community. 
you can build a bigger business as you build a better community. And I'm going to give you the five steps to build your community. All right. So number one, commit to your own personal growth. I have personally spent over 40,000, now it's up to 50, $50,000 on my own personal growth because you are the key and people do business with people. People are attracted to people. So focusing on you and your relationship with yourself is the number one way to attract great relationships. Beginning with the end in mind means beginning with growth with yourself. Brendan Burchard has a quote, I'm just gonna read it here, it's a little long. He says, beginning today, set an intention and a relentless focus on living your life as the greatest person you can be in all situations. Demand that you demonstrate a strength of character in such a way that you find pride in who you are and that others see you as a role model. That is the ultimate goal. So step one, commit to growth. Step two, build your community based on values. So when I ask people what their biggest challenge is when it comes to generating referrals, the most typical answer I get, by far the number one answer is, I can't find the right people. Now to be clear, I'm talking about referral partners in the networking space uh, more than anything here. But here's the thing, people want a leader to follow. People are moved to work with you when your values and beliefs align with them. If you're clear on the values you want your referral community to be built on and you learn to express that, you'll attract the right people. So number two, build the community based on values. Number three, be intentional. When you meet people and, you've, and you have great energy with them, right? have an intention for where you see the relationship going. So what that looks like is they could number one, be a direct referral source. So that's someone that's just, they're talking to your ideal client every single day. So it's just natural that they could just refer you. Number two, a strategic partnership where it's more like you're able to integrate your businesses together and really create a symbiotic relationship. Um, it could be a connector. Here's the thing about connectors. Don't overlook the connectors because the connectors who align with you, your values will refer you to the partners or direct referral sources who also align with your values. So it's really important. I've seen this happen play out. Um, in an incredible way. Um, so really definitely don't overlook the connectors. Don't always think about what people do, but think about who they are and understand that you can drive that relationship. All right. And then of course they could be a potential customer or even a new team member. Right? A lot of people wanna grow a team. When you see someone, you meet them, you know they have great energy, know where you wanna take that relationship. So being intentional as a part of your community. Step four, I love this one. Always be inviting. People want to be invited. Even if they don't accept the invitation, it puts you in a position of attraction. Always have the next step in the relationship. Notice I didn't say the sales process. The next step in the relationship available for you to invite to. So what that looks like, it could be a one-to-one. -one. It could be a phone call. Quite frankly, it could be your newsletter. Uh, I've sent emails where I just simply say, hey, thanks so much. I'd love to stay in touch. And by the way, I do this newsletter, right along with what Chad was talking about. Uh, feel free to, uh, to opt in. So I choose to invite people to my newsletter rather than drop people's business cards <laughs> into my newsletter, which nobody likes. So, or if you're part of a networking group, invite to a networking group. No matter what, always be inviting to the next step in the relationship. And the people, here's the key, the people who accept that invitation are raising their hand and saying, hey, I want to take the next step in the relationship with you and therefore into your community, your personal uh, referral community. And step five, host an event, right? So we've heard the magic of event through several speakers, which is fantastic. Here's the thing, people want to be bigger than something of, they, people want to be part of something bigger than themselves. And I understand there are definitely people out there who have fear as it comes to hosting an event because they don't want to be the center of attention. But here's the magic. When you host an event, the greatest value of the event is the people who share common values and beliefs 
being in the same room together. So when you're inviting, remember that the who is not you, and yet, because you're the one who invited everyone into the room, you become the referral magnet without having to be the center of attention. So remember, commit to your own growth, build your personal community based on values, be intentional, always be inviting and host an event. So here's my next step for you. I have a challenge. I'm going to issue a challenge right now to the generosity generation. I challenge you to own these values of love, generosity, and appreciation for your referral community. The next time someone asks you what you do, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or in a pitch or presentation at a networking event, simply say this, I build relationships with love, generosity, and appreciation. And I'm a realtor, a mortgage professional, a healthcare broker, whatever it is. I said before, I would teach you how to build a bigger business as you build a better community. But if we as business leaders do this across the country, we will build better communities as we build a bigger business. Thank you. <laughs> that puts the wow in the weekly wow, huh? Right there. Commit to personal growth, right? If you want to have great people around you, be a great person. It makes it a lot easier. Trust me. Build communication or build your community based on values. Get the right people in the tribe. That's so true. Be intentional. I love that. And I love that you said, hey, listen, not everybody's going to necessarily fit as a referral source. That might be a team member. It might be a strategic partner. It might be a connector of referral sources. Love that. And then, you know, always, always do the invitation, the power of the invitation. It's automatically attractive instead of chasing, as you said, and host an event, bring your tribe together, give them a chance to celebrate, rally the troops, because then they become ambassadors for you. And uh, I love it. That, that was fantastic. And uh, in less than 10 minutes to cover those five steps is amazing. And I want to just reinforce what Tommy shared is that you know, what is all this about? It really is about building your own tribe of trust. It is really about building your own tribe of referral partners. And uh, he gave us the, the recipe for that. Tommy, thank you so much again for being a guest on our weekly WOW. Thank you. Thank you.